I'm so pleased to be um, for this album to be released with NMC. It's an album of three orchestral works and a chamber work, um, all large scale works based around thinking about mathematical shapes and exploring them in music. There are four amazing ensembles and I'm really grateful to have worked with them and the conductors and I hope you find something in it that's interesting for you. I've always been um, really interested in both mathematics and music and I think that um, you know, I never knew, well, I always studied both of them and I did a degree in maths and and then I followed up with study in music and I feel um, that, I mean, this, this project is kind of a way to bring both of them together in a way that I'm very pleased about. When I'm thinking about maths in music, um, I'm always, I'm always struck by you know, am I trying to be really true to the maths or am I taking the maths as a starting point and a catalyst to completely jump off and let my imagination run wild? With these orchestral um, geometries, um, I'm definitely doing the latter of that. I, I'm thinking rather than feeling that I need to kind of obey the maths in any kind of way, I'm taking as an imaginative cornerstone, taking like the shape torus and sort of rooting that and every every decision I make in the piece kind of refers to that it's like it's a lens through which I'm thinking one way I like to think about it is that if you have a triangle and we're, we're taught it adds up to 180 degrees on a positively curved shape the, the angles add up to more than 180 degrees but on a negatively curved shape they shrink and they add up to less than 180 degrees so I've been thinking about that in musical terms and in a piece like Antisphere, I've been shrinking all kinds of properties to do with musical properties. So for example, I may shrink a chord, that, a chord that we all know and love and kind of, it, it gets shrunk in certain ways so it feels different. Um, and then I also shrink and expand um, rhythmic ideas as well. So I feel that, it, um, that the way I'm composing these is 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 through the lens of these shapes. Um, the album's called Taurus, and that's after one of the pieces in the album. And a torus is a mathematical donut. I was imagining when I was making this work that I was thinking about traveling around the donut, and you can travel around it in this direction, but you can also travel around it kind of into the middle of the donut. So there are two circular ways you can move, I suppose. So the piece explores um, to start with, um, every possibility I can think of as what happens as I travel around and what happens if like the landscape changes or things I encounter change. And then towards the middle of the piece, or, or actually it's about two thirds through, there's a real shift when I then start thinking about traveling around the, this donut in a different way um, into the center. And you can really hear that it comes after a viola solo in the piece. So there's Taurus, Sphere, Antisphere, these are orchestral works um, based around um, shapes and geometries. Taurus is a mathematical donut. Um, a sphere is like the earth and an antisphere is the opposite or the, the inverse of a sphere. So it's negatively curved and completely imaginary. With compass, that's a chamber work on the disc. And I've been, I've imagined being inside like dodecahedral space and as I move between these spaces um, I kind of the geometry changes so I, I'm sometimes in what would recognize what we recognize today um, in, in our world and then sometimes I'm in a elliptically shaped geometry so um, positively curved and sometimes I'm in negatively curved um, space and I feel um, I, I found it a very productive way to write because it meant that as I was traveling through um, the materials I was working with changed according to which shape or which geometry I was in. So why, why mathematical shapes? I suppose I love the fact that um, a mathematical shape doesn't really exist. So there's something imaginary about it. Um, and, I, and I also love, it's almost like, a, well, it's like a platonic ideal. It can't really exist perfectly in the real world. And so, so I love that about it, that it's, that it exists in my imagination and I think about it and I move it around and then 
some something some like I make a response to this imaginary perfect shape. I really love the contrast between huge orchestral tutties and then absolute silence or, or solo lines. And I feel that one of the things that I love to do most in my music is to go from one extreme like that to another. And so for me, the orchestra is an amazing ensemble and I kind of, I feel lucky and privileged to have been able to work with so many great ones. I'm really grateful to everybody who supported this album. So that's NMC and um, PRISM, RMCM and Research England. Um, and it's been a pleasure and to work with such fantastic musicians. <laughs>